Example number three, we're going to be factoring out a binomial factor. And uh, we're going to be doing that by the means of uh, factoring out the greatest common factor here. All right. So let's look at example A. Um, I have my first term of a plus 2 times a minus 3 is my first term. And, and my second term is being a plus 2 and a minus 6. Notice that each term has a common factor of a plus 2. Okay, so they each have a plus 2. So that's going to be our greatest common factor. So I'm going to factor out the a plus 2. So I'm going to put a plus 2. Okay, that's going to be our common factor out here. Now, what goes back inside the parentheses now? Okay, so a plus 2 times what do I write right here that would give me back my original problem? Well, that would be a minus 3. Because a plus 2 times a minus 3 <clears throat> gives me back a plus 2 times a minus 3 plus, because of the plus sign, a minus 2 times what is a plus 2 times a minus 6. Oh, well, that's just a minus 6. Cool. And if you multiply that back through, you'll get Now, we can simplify what's inside of these parentheses here, and that's what I want to do. So I have a plus 2, and um, a plus a is 2a, and negative 3 minus 6 is a negative 9. So uh, that would be our final answer right there. For um, example B, uh, let's see, y minus 1, y minus 1. So th they both have a y minus 1 in common. So, we're, so now we're going to factor out the y minus 1. So y minus 1. I'm going to factor that out. Now what's going to go back inside the parentheses? y minus 1 times what gives me back this? Well, that's just y plus 3, right? If I distribute this, I'm going to get back this guy. And then y minus 1 times what gives me back all this? Well, I have to have a minus sign right here. I've already pulled that out, so all I have left is y plus 4. All right, and you, you could actually simplify all this to be, see, y minus y, because you have to distribute right here. Uh, y minus y, well the y's are gone, and then 3 minus 4, so, so really this is just negative 1. Th this whole thing just becomes negative 1. We have our y minus 1, so if you multiply everything by negative 1, you'll get negative y plus 1, so that's what we're looking for right there. All right, uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Let's see, well we know they, they both have a common factor of a plus 5b, but check this out. There's one, one a plus 5 to the power b, but there are two of these because it has a squared right here. So this, just be very careful when we factor this out. So I do know that my common factor is a plus 56, or is that 5b? Actually, yeah, my own writing can't read it, but yeah, that's a 5b. So let's do that again. a plus 5b. Okay, so they each have an a plus 5b in common, so now I have to write, well, what goes back inside the parentheses here? So a plus, f a plus 5b times what? Give me back my original. Well, just k squared, right? Plus a plus, f a plus 5b times what do I write right here? That's going to give me back m squared. Well, like I need an m squared, but then I also need a plus 5b squared. So if I already if, if I pulled one of them out, that means I have one left. So that's why I have to put a plus 5b right here. And that would be it.